Dude called out his whole crew on live and got stomped out, while uh, another talks smack man. about an op's mama and gets smoked. Here's some thugs who diss the wrong ops on live. Starting out with these wannabe gangsters. Yo, that shit don't fuck no gray. Hi, yeah, all them niggas. And we still out the drink. Yeah, we on our block. Up, 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 is what's this new thing with being online and like showing out and letting the police not even have to do their job no more? During a music video, the ops pull up, lens shots off everywhere, and had them fake gangsters running like bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Now the same shit went down with this dude who was live in a corner store begging a blood's homie named Poopy Red to roll up on him. Pull the f up. Pull the f up, son. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up, Poopy Red. Pull up. Pull up. Wow. Pull up. Pull up. Please pull up. I want you to pull up. I want you to pull up. Please pull up. <laughs> An IG user. Hey, bro, if you ask somebody to pull up like that and they pull up, then you getting exactly what you expect. Jumped in the comments saying he better watch his back. And then this is what went down. Watch your back. Nobody. No, he ain't know me. Hey, shit. I thought he ain't know me. Oh, blood. I ain't know my blood. I thought he ain't know me. You not blood. You not blood. You not blood. I thought he ain't know me. The blood op really pulled up on him, and you could see the dude's vibe switch up real quick. And all the smack he was talking before went wow. straight out the window as they whooped his ass. Where the energy at, bro? Yeah. Those dudes were strapped, but still decided to use fists, oh, maybe to teach him a lesson. And after the fight was done, they took his phone with him, continuing the live, and warning oh. his crew never to mess with him. Hey, hey, pull up. Hey, man, I'm grim. Hey, 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 go. Hey, hey, go. Hey, go. Hey, pull up. Oh, man, this f. Hey, get the f. Hey, hey, Terry, come on. Get your ass, go. But unlike that dude who see that's the crazy thing right there is like these guys nowadays it's like it's like a new generation of guys that think that like there's no time that come with this like you go to jail for stuff like this you feel what i'm saying and then you on camera after it like yeah it was me what in possession of somebody's property so it's like i don't know what like the whole mindset is where it's like yo give me clout give me clout give me clout give me likes but then complain when you get the time folded when his ops pulled up rod g stood his ground talking smack to his op k flock right after flock spun his block I'm out, pop out right now, right now as we speak. You wanna make shows, you wanna make shows too. Pop out, water my mother. Pop out right now. Pop out right now. Nigga, where you at? Come up here. Where you at? Like, where you at? 16 year old drill rapper Rod G's was wild and out in the Bronx, always dissing fellow Bronx rapper K Flock. But Flock wasn't playing no games, so he rolled up to Rod's block, masked up and ready to spin while live on the gram. It's crazy. <laughs> They know what I do. Bro, they be I'm trying to spend. Look how comfortable I am on this block. That nigga's all in there. This is deep. Passable players. They so it's about to get lit. <laughs> Could grab their basketball and start leaving. <laughs> People try and play basketball. That was nuts. You, it ain't even cool to play basketball no more. He like, they want to play basketball and have fun and shit. Come on, bro. Yeah, play this. They ain't even come to the game. <laughs> this is insane. Nah, you got to move me back. Flock was chilling, waiting for Ron and his crew to show up, and when they didn't, he bounced. But as soon as he dipped, Rod G's hopped up on live, talking mad crazy again, telling Flock to spin the block once more if he really wanted all that smoke. Flock, pop out, pop out right now, right now as we speak. 
I want to make shows, gonna make shows too. Pop out. What am my mother? Tell Pop out right now. Pop out right now. Yeah, where where you at? Come up here. Where you at? Like, where you at? They wanna do weird I'm shit. To I that wish I'd have sued you. I mean, bro. You wanna, wanna go live on my block and I let me you on my block? Like, it's not worried about you, nigga. I'm not nobody live, nothing. Bro, I'm getting nigga. high, nigga. On my Respectfully, block, I see you. I see you. I said. Come do something. I said, you are so Fuck, I'm do Block mocked him on live, but Stop. didn't spin again. And when he went live with Esco, a few days later, Rod G's jumped in, going off and talking crazy again about Flock. You probably get out of here. Says, I'm get low. What am I dead? So they was getting out of there every time. Uh, yo, why are y'all? On some real shit, though, once my dad. I could really start talking right now, like Jesse, your boy. Yo, Jesse, hold on, no. Wait, wait, why you, you do bad? You over here, you over here, capping in your raps. You over here, capping in your. Why you backing me? Chat, you never did nothing to me though. Really though, really did never did nothing to me. I, like, I really did shit to Doug, you know. What about my brother? What you fuck? Like, and just a few days after hopping on that. Bro, everybody on here trying to get implicated. Make sure y'all write the word implicated. Just write, we got him, all right? Because a lot of these videos that we watching, you know, the police watching too. They like, yeah, man, we got him, man. We got him. So just write, we got him. If you realize that a lot of these guys don't know, this is what's going to happen. You going to go to jail and they're in a the room eating donuts, drinking coffee like we got Five. Ra got smoked. On July 11, 2021, Rod G's got smoked by two young dudes while he was chilling in the back of a livery cab on 178th and Valentine Avenue. Dude. Cops found him at 11.30 p.m. with holes in his head and chest, and the whole incident got caught on an Uber's dash cam, showing the exact moment when the dudes rolled up to the side of the whip and lit him up through the window. Wow. Another dude running his mouth on live talk his smack about his ops and got caught slipping would be Chirac drill rapper Mubu Crump. Mubu hopped on live, chilling at the same spot where Lil Dirk's cousin OTF Nuski got murdered. Them left uh, Chino, I mean Nuski. They left his ass right here. Crazy. You feel me? They left his ass up here on folks and them tweaking. Buying some shoes. Y'all see? Y'all see real up here though. Play with me up here on folks and his bills on the news. I look like Nuski. Hit his ass up right here on Pat. I'm with the that did. He don't want to be on camera, though. Hit his ass. Bruh, we got him. We got him, y'all. <laughs> we got him. We got him. You hit me? <laughs> right here, you feel me? Historic events. Y'all know I'm going to bring y'all around this shit. Historic events. For a while, Mubu and OTF have been beefing, and both sides clashed at TI's meet and greet back in 2014. Ever since, Mubu been moving wild, dissing OTF and their dead homies. He took it up a notch by pulling up to Dirk's old manager's death site while on live. Wow. We hit my favorite spot, y'all. We grab, I just grabbed all of my food. Hey, y'all got that order for Nuski? Wow. Chino burger. Chino burger. Yeah, y'all got it? Hey, Ray. Oh, thank you. OTF Chino got smoked sitting in his whip outside that spot. Wow. And on some disrespectful shit, Mubu ordered that food from the joint and tossed it like it was nothing. Oh, Bill. What's up? Y'all with that OTF case? Oh, man. Hey, this motherfucker is his head up, man. Y'all, this shit ain't done, man. Y'all put this shit back to the grill, man. This shit is disgusting, man. Get this shit together, man. For real shit, this shit is hell, man. Straight up, man. That shit nasty as hell. And if that ain't crazy enough, Mubu hops on live again for the third time, throwing even more shade at Nuski's name. Wow. No, I don't give a f about that s and this getting money. You niggas, you broke. I'm broke. You bro. can't go around and shop like how we do. Y'all can't do that. Me. I'm f up. I know you f up. So why you gotta hate on another black nigga? But Nuski dead, so why you tripping? But why you gotta hate on another black man? Why you just can't get in? Nuski told me he was going. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. Look, you wanna know why I say Nooski name all the time? Cause Nooski told me he was gonna kill me, bro. So then it was funny to me when he got clout. Wow. Like when, when a about me, bro. When a you, I'm gonna put this up there like, damn, this was crazy. <laughs> hey, but oh, I remember, man. but I remember the dog pound beat the shit out your head, not you the f out for you double like this and shit. When he hit your ass, he was like this. He knocked me out. Like, oh, oh, you know what happened. Oh, you know what happened. Yeah, hold on, nigga. You know what happened. 
know what happened. You know what happened when T.L. was trying to promote his clothes at the shop. You know what happened. Okay. OTF homies weren't about to let that slide, so back in wow. May 2018, Mubu Crump got smoked outside his crib on 6800 block South Morgan Street, Southside Chicago. What did he expect to happen, though? Like, what is this new thing with trying to, like, taunt the dead, too? Like, I don't know when people thought this was cool. Like, I'm not about to sit around talking about I'm smoking on my ops. And that's just excessive. And I think that people have made this a part of the culture to the point now where he thought it was cool and his friend was recording and he giggling. <laughs> and now the same dude that's probably giggling was crying at the man's funeral, which is insane. Some dude spun up, hit him twice in the arm, twice in the chest, rushed to the hospital, and he wouldn't make it. Moving on, some homies don't let ops slide, no matter how much trash they be talking on live. Honeycomb Brazy always be dissing his ops on wow. IG, and one day, they would try to catch him slipping. You see, back in November 2020, Brazy rolls up to Montgomery, Alabama to cop a Kobe Bryant jersey. After that, he goes on live chilling outside a barber shop with his OGs, flexing the jersey to his viewers. Out of nowhere, shots pop off. Them too big. I autographed Honeycomb Kobe Crazy. Bryant jersey to the really uh, size. Yeah, man, it was too big, so really I had to buy another one. Pull I up, had man. to buy another one, man. We need a big man. Whoever the big man is stopping on nigga for real in the post, <laughs> for real, come yeah. get it, man. Yeah, you got to be come shooting that hoe like Kobe. You can't let the rebound it. for real, come get, get it. it. <laughs> come get it for real, come get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be shooting that bitch out of rebound. Come on, come on. Don't pop the baby. Dead weight. The screen goes black, shots ring out in the background, luckily nobody gets hit in the mess, and Brazy later gets his hands on that surveillance footage to show what really went down. We have a gray SUV rolling up from behind and starts busting at Brazy's whip. His boys duck down, they pull out their Glocks and fire back. A few days wow. later, Brazy goes back on live to explain what happened and even clowns his ops for failing to take him out. <laughs> you got, what you say, Byron? <laughs> Bruh, do y'all know that this is we got him? <laughs> the shooters lit up the whip real nasty, and you'd think Brazy would chill after that, but nah. Because a few months later, it was back in the hood, running his mouth again. So much red back in the hood, running running his his mouth. Black, black, y'all see what's going on, black. And just a few minutes after that, this happened. We, we said we would get up to about 150, 200, we're going to run it. Right. right, before the show, man. Before the show, man. Y'all already know. Y'all know how money bag y'all need that shit, man. Y'all know what's going on, man. I want to see how I swear to God. Now, Brazy might have dodged his ops and stayed breathing, but Boulevard Quick wasn't so lucky. The NBA crew took him out after he went wild talking smack about NBA Youngboy's mama on wow. live. Boulevard Quick was rolling with TBG gang and they have been you beefing could, with listen, NBA crew down. You couldn't talk about nobody moms and play with the dead and all that back in the day. That's what I'm saying. That's the difference. You couldn't even do that. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't even play with nobody moms and... You just couldn't do this. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I'm watching this, just to show y'all this is the reality of what's going on, and this is the kind of music, the people that are in the music and what they're putting out and what it, what it's about. In Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So in his music video for Never Lacking, Quick straight up called out Young Boy and his whole crew throwing shade and telling them to pull up for the smoke. They kept throwing shots back and forth online. And then Young Boy's mama jumps in to diss Boulevard Quick because folks kept blowing up her IG saying Quick might take out Young Boy. And although she later apologized for her comments, Quick took to his life to straight up disrespect her freaking name. Wow. Me too look like a man though. <coughs> too look like a punk. <laughs> Talking about me, bitch. I ain't afraid of that speaks on everything. Wow. Boy, f that mama. Play with me first. That Turn it up. And look how Man, he look both ways. So, how many they chopped off a body? <laughs> bitch, you had a Santa when you got mad. And not after long, Quick got smoked in front of his apartment buildings around midnight. Young wow. boy then addressed the situation in his song Impact, where he said, Spoke on my mama. I ain't want to talk. I ain't up killing a n. The next showdown goes to this young rapper, Yo, Hunch. Ain't no way in hell he did no song like that, bro. Give me the backstory, if y'all. That, that gotta be a prank. Go De Niro. De Niro starts flashing his piece, telling his ops to roll up to his block just so he could bust him. Y'all 
y'all the same reason why I gotta walk my back and why the f I gotta go. Because y'all saying I'm trying to be a ride or die ass nigga with y'all stupid ass. My dog beat with everybody. Um, mama, because y'all stupid ass wanna 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 act like y'all so hard. Y'all wanna fight behind y'all stupid ass daddy Zay Zay. And like y'all, like he just like he just got now royalty or something. Tell me you ain't gotta why you ain't gotta put the Bruh, if I have problems with you, I know where you are at. You are in the window right now. The front window right now. I'm throw it out. Oh, my mama. And once they came for a spin, Dinero popped out. I ain't beefing with love because of these I ain't beefing. See? He took shots and had him speeding off, but he hopped back on his live and told him to come back so he could finish him off for good. Spin back through! On Ray Ray, spin back through! Spin back through! On Ray Ray, spin back through! Spin back through! On the Ray, spin back through! Yo, spin back through! On the going Ray to jail. Spin. We, we got him, guys. Spin back through! We got him. We got him. I'm gonna hit record. I'm gonna shoot. Man, I'm gonna shoot while they... I'm gonna drive down the street while they record. Wait, and I'm outside with this. Yo, yeah. what's up? And I'm outside with this. What the? Wait. So. Wait. All the shots that went at you is gone. And you the yeah, only one outside. Back, through, nigga. back at everybody. I'm shooting back at everybody. Spin back to my grandma. Uh, but for him, it didn't end well because right after that live, Huncho De Niro got shot and killed. Wow. His family reported him missing for a few days, then the feds found his body laid out at Bayview Lake in Alabama. Which brings us to another thug. So, that's the whole point, you know, and that, that that's, we gonna just leave that as part one. If y'all wanna watch part two, you know, just write part two in the comments and I'll definitely do it. Let's get into this though, this part. Shout out to the people that made it to this part of the video. <laughs> We is in a culture right now where being on camera for clout is a very big thing. People will do anything for clout, you know, down to, you know, the rappers and showing off everything and telling everybody everything. It, it, you could have put a person on the roof and they would have known what part of the house you was in, and that's bad. Sometimes you got to leave. Everything ain't for everybody. And sometimes you got to leave information off the Internet. A lot of these artists and a lot of these guys are living a lifestyle where it's about show me this, show me that. Everybody look at me, look at me. Now, it's cool to do that in the music, but then when you get into the life of things, you got to be prepared for what comes with it. Every one of these people that's on this video so far, I don't think they realize the, uh, you know, danger that they put themselves in and potentially their family. Because let's say that these people come run down on you and, and, and that happens and then they're like, that's not enough. Now we need to do your family. Now you're gone. You can't protect your family no more. You know what I mean? Um, two words I want to say before uh, that I think everybody needs to realize. As soon as you sign up for this kind of music that they don't, life insurance. Life insurance is going to be good so at least your family could be good. Because a lot of these guys is going out. They're going out with family that can't even do nothing for them after they pass. All right. I want to know y'all views on this. Part two. Y'all want to watch it. Just write part two in the comments. I'm at 56,000 subs, man. Trying to get to 100,000 subs. Hit that top bell. I also got four new, ch three channels. Rich House Comedy. Rich House Crime. Rich House Reviews Bars. Pick one. Subscribe. Hit the top bell. See you on the next one.